Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix white screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to stop the audio service before launching the game and then enable the audio as soon as you are able to launch the game. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows audio. Here you can see Windows audio. Make a right click and then click on stop. And then once it is stopped, launch the game. And as soon as the game launches, we will restart the audio service. So first of all, make a right click, click on. So as soon as you, you are able to launch the game, you have to start the audio service and then you can check. Let me close the game for now. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to set full screen to false in graphic settings now for this make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then open binaries folder settings folder and over here you will see graphics settings uh, make a right click in my case i have already renamed it so please ignore this one you will see graphics settings dot mxml file make a right click open with you can open with notepad and over here you can see full screen if this is set to true type in false like this and then go to file click on save and then you can launch the game still not working then you can rename or delete graphics settings file now for this same location make a right click and when you do so all the saved settings will be lost so you can rename it or you can delete this file and then you can check still not working the next step is to delete everything in this location now for this open file explorer in computer Go to this PC, open C drive, open program data folder. If you don't see program data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open program data folder. Now find NVIDIA folder and then open NGX folder. Now open models, delete the content of this folder. And now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete the slpcl.dll file. Now for this, again, make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files open binaries folder scroll down here you can see slpcl.dll file in my case i have already renamed it so you will see like this so uh, make a right click on slpcl.dll and then you can rename this or yeah rename it and then you can launch the game if you face any problem you can just revert the changes now still not still not working the next step is to disable steam cloud and rename the save game files now, when you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can do this. So make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off this Steam Cloud over here. And then go to File Explorer, and then go to this PC, open C Drive, open Users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open App Data. If you don't see App Data, top click on View, Select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder roaming folder over here you will find hello games folder so here you can see hello games open this hello games folder and over here you can rename or you can uh, yeah rename but before you rename it in my case i have already renamed it so please ignore this so you will see you will see only nms folder now you can create a backup first so copy this you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created over here. Now you can make a right click and then you can rename it. The game will start from scratch. Now once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. And if it's working, you can just, uh, if you want, you can later on, you can turn on the Steam Cloud. And if you want to 
like uh, revert the changes you can revert the changes or you can just put the save game files back to the folder and then you can check now the next step is to uninstall close or uninstall these applications so if you have a fps monitor running close it and then you can even uninstall this application obs is also causing a lot of problem over wolf if you have this metal application running you can turn off metal or you can uninstall this metal application so bonjour naimic so if you have these uh, application running you can just uninstall these application then after you uninstall restart you can be and make sure that the folders are gone from these location now the next step is to uninstall uh, these uh, open cl open gl and vulcan pack now for this uh, you can open windows settings and then go to settings apps and then go to install apps or apps and features in windows 10 and then you can search for this uh, open cl open gl and vulcan pack so if you see this uh, you can if you have this if you don't have this pack you can just skip this step now click on uninstall uninstall once this is uninstalled restart you can be and after the system restart you can check now later on uh, once you're done playing the game if you want to install this pack uh, you can always install this pack from microsoft website the link is provided in the video, video description you can click on download and you can just uh, click on this file and then you can this will open microsoft store and then you can install this file if you need this file but uh, while playing the game you can uninstall it and then you can check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then open binaries folder make a double click over here launch the game from here and then check still not working make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time you can now if this is already checked you can uncheck this box hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if this is not checked in that case you can put a check over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok uh, for few players changing high dpi settings has also worked so you can put a check over here put a check over here click on ok hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card for the list from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system then click on start search and at the very top you will see the latest graphic card driver on this page and you can click on get download whichever is the latest click on download now and then you can run this exe file when you run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure this is checked and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver from your computer restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then check next step is to run a uh, game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder open the game folder so this is the location select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and over here select high performance and then check now if you have uh, dex your desktop users in that desktop users can connect the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot now if you're using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browse all apps and then select the game exe file click on open once it is added now launch the game and then check do the same thing with antivirus program now next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click go to properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 
now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to try dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this you can search in google visual c++ file go to the official microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download this x86 and x64 install both the files so click on both the files run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed now you can restart the computer restart is a must after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then you can launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version so go to windows settings go go to windows update click on check for update over here and once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off if this is on enable the steam overlay while again turn it off and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings and turn off overlay now if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and then you can turn off nvidia overlay you will see settings over here go to settings and turn off nvidia overlay and then close overlay all the overlay application like close discord nvidia app so close all the overlay application and then you can launch the game do not overclock so if you have overclocked your computer now if you have overclocked your computer set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner revert tuner any overclocking application running close it also if you have any third party application or services running close it unplug external devices like your hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnected disconnect multiple monitors uh, connected to the computer if you have extra controller connected to the computer disconnect extra controller if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to hardware and sound go to power options and over here i have only balance in your case if you see this power saver you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced and high performance check which one is working fine for you but first of all try power saver and then check still not working uh, the next step is to next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game you can turn off dlss try window mode lower down video settings and then check if that does not work you can reset the graphics settings to default now once you launch the game uh, you can go to options go to options and then go to display and graphics scroll down here you can see entirelyzing now if this is set to dls you can turn this off now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so here you can see i turned it off now after you turn it off apply and then you can check still not working then try you can just select bordered over here and then lower down resolution and graphics quality if this is set to like uh, uh, enhanced you can set it to high you can even go for standard so set it to standard and then hit apply and then restart and then you can check still not working in that case uh, you can go to options once again go to display and graphics you can reset the graphics settings so click on reset to default click on yes and then restart your computer uh, restart the game and then you can check now 
The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uh, uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the widescreen issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.